In. I know it's a bit of noise. This is um, but it's deliberate. What it is is we've got our Arduino program running, and what we've got is a space of what it see, but you can see a space of a thousand and a mark of one hundred. So it's like a ten percent mark space ratio ish. Not really, but uh, like a I don't know what is that eleven or nine percent, whichever it is. Okay. And um, it's noisy because we've got the supply now delivering seven and a half volts, which is the rated voltage of the motor, right? But using our uh, mark space ratio, I think it's eleven percent actually, right? Obviously, we've reduced the power, so it, effectively it's like seven and a half volts. But if you say it's ten percent for easy reckoning, then that's three quarters of a volt. You see but in the form of a mark space ratio rather than actual three quarters of a volt, you see. So, um, <clears throat> that's good. What we've got here is we've got the Arduino, and we haven't quite got it as, as per the circuit because we've got pins two to seven, which is the high six pin, the high six of um, port D. So you can see here we've got the high of port D. And there's alternating mark space ratio. And these come across and feed into the 4.7k resistors through a, uh, a BC547, right, which is just a gen purpose uh, NPM. And then we've got our 1k resistor, which we had before, through the normal circuit that we had before. So all we've done is basically replace this diode matrix with these inputs, which are now not connected, I've offset them with the um, NPM and a resistor coming from the Arduino. So it's stepping, it's a manual, it's a step-up sequence, right, and obviously <coughs> that it's, there's no noise, it's a pretty pure tone, and I've got the mark space ratio up here, so I'm actually measuring the space there, so that's a uh, four point sorry, a 2.14 micro millisecond um, space. Now when I was doing this stuff here, you can see a thousand gives 4.5, but that's for a mark space ratio, so that's both mark and space, which is the reason why it's 4.5 milliseconds, because it's a thousand for the mark and then a thousand for the space, right? And there's a slight difference because it's unsigned short, whereas I'm using unsigned long. So it's gonna be slightly less, you see. So we've got 2.4, so it's shorter, obviously because it's only one, it's just a mark, uh, sorry, the space, and the mark, I think, was in the region of, because uh, we're on 100, and I think I had about 200 microseconds, uh, yeah, because I was on, uh, sorry, it's an untimed chart, I don't know, I'm not quite sure, but there you go, and that's, that's what we're looking at, and it's as per roughly the calculations in the order of magnitude, and we've now got a stepper sequence running through the Arduino, crucially, Basically, the electronics work fine, and I expected them to. I put an LED on there, so we can actually see, and it's it's quite dim. Where are we at there? It's quite dim, simply because of the mark space ratio. You see, that's normally quite bright, but it's dim because it's got uh, it's a whatever an 11% mark space ratio, right? When it's on, it's bright, and when it's off, it's dim. Uh, when it's off, it's off, obviously. And so I've just got it on one of the phases. You can see I've got a yellow wire here that's taking it off from oh crack, I've got my finger in the, way, the Arduino output. And I'm just feeling these to see if there's anything warm. No. And the MOSFETs. Actually they are a little bit. Yeah, they're not cold, which is what they were before. The uh, looks like the low side ones are a little bit warm. But I'm only guessing because they're being switched quite hard and the slow the switching is slow. Thinking. Right then, so the next stage basically, obviously, is to hook up the uh, the Hall Effect devices to the Arduino's inputs, which isn't a biggie. It's actually simpler, because it's just resistors and more wire. So this is, <laughs> this is starting to look a considerable rat's nest now. <laughs> it's because we've got six connections and six parallel circuits. And we've got wire, I'm going to have to buy some more wire, I think. Hmm, it's running out. Anyway, I thought I'd get that one in. So that's just a raw stepper. And what we've basically done is we've had this before. We've had the pick. 
right, on, on the, that using, and you can usually see it because of the six LEDs, there isn't any on the Arduino. I can put some on, and I might do actually. Yeah, but it's just transplanting an Arduino in instead of a pick effectively. And uh, we've got the stepper sequence correct, and it's giving us an output. Yeah. Might reverse the stepper sequence actually. But hey. Hmm.